Okay, Sever Hamizvot, Rambam is Vot Asev, positive commandment 19. Yesterday we ended with number 18. We've been singing a series of Mizvot, Mizvot that are Torah oriented, proclamation oriented. We went from the reminder oriented Mizvot, we segued into the um, Mizvot that have to do with Torah text, the assembly Mizvah. Mizvah for the king to have a Sefer Torah. And then we ended with the Mizvah, the individual uh, being obligated uh, to have his own Sefer Torah. And we go into Mizvah Yotet, Mizvah number 19. Ahad Achila is a Mizvah from the Torah to, to acknowledge, thank Hashem after eating. This is only Mizvah, only. Uh, Beracha, that is a mizvah from the Torah. Of course, what's it referring to? Bihu Omro, the pasuk is in Parashat Re'e, Ve'achata, Ve'sabata, Berakta, Tazonai Elohecha, we know it as, Ve'lashon HaTosefta, Berkat HaMazom in Torah. Midrash tells us this series of mizvot, although they were crafted by uh, Moshe, Yehoshua, David, Shalom, our great masters and fathers, but um, that's the text. But they, they, they crafted the text to match a command from the Torah. And that is the Mizvah Berkat As it says in the Pazduk, V'achatav sabata u'berachta kimu u'chvahit baru mishpatei mezbazdo m'kumot rabin masechet berachot. Of course, Berkat is discussed in Masechet Berachot in numerous places. And uh, it's a Mizvah only when one has at least uh, kazait, of lechem, and we say hamosi lechem in haaris, followed by that. The Ramam has nothing more to say on this mizvah, and he sort of stuck this mizvah in here. Uh, it is a mizvah of connection, worship, and somewhat of a text, and it's sort of now the link between the sefer Torah mizvah and the next one coming up, which brings us into a whole other realm of mizvah, the whole broad category. Introduced by Mizvah number 20. We have Mizvah from the Torah to build a bet habehira. Literally, that means a, a chosen dwelling. That's, of course, referring to the Beta Mikdash. And the purpose is, is stated in one word. The objective is avoda, serving Hashem. We have Arat Esh, Tamid. Uh, and in that great sanctuary will be the offering of korbanot. There'll be the constant fire. Uh, towards it will be the travel on the holidays of the Galim and the gathering of Am Yisrael annually. What's the source of this? We read this some, about a month ago in Parashat Turumah, Ve'asuli Mikdash. Now, of course, that was referring to the command of the Mishkan in the desert, but that command extends itself uh, to eventually the Beta Mikdash as well. Ve'lashon Sifre, Shalosh Mizvot Nistavu Yisrael Ba'it Kinesetan La'aris Yisrael La'aris. The Midrash tells us that there was three Mizvot that kicked in upon our entrance to Eretz Yisrael. And they are, Limnot lahem melech, Limnot lahem beta bechira, Limnot zar'osh amalek. Appointing a king, anointing a king, building the Beit HaMikdash, and wiping out the offspring of Amalek. Now, none of those occurred right away. In fact, they all occurred after centuries in uh, and, uh, upon entering Am Eris Yisrael. That's a, a nice discussion for a different time as to why each one of them took so long. But they, this is when they, this was what kicked in, when they entered the land. Uqfad bi Arnu, I'm sorry. Would you see from this Midrash Sifre? is that building the Beit HaMikdash is, and this is why the Rambam, it's always his objective to bring these sources to prove that it's a independent mizvot in and of itself. It's not just a concept. It's not just a category for smaller mizvot. It itself is a mizvah. 
to build the better Bechira. Uchvad biadnu shezeh hakelal kolel minim rabim. And elsewhere, the Rambam explains that this general misvah includes many branches to it, but none of them are individual misvot, like shehena menora ve'ashulhan da'mizbeach ve'zulatam kulam mechalkeh ha'mikdash ve'akol yikra ha'mikdash. All of the vessels of the Beit Hamikdash are all components of the same mizvah. And they all are called the Mizvah of the Mikdash. And every one of those components gets its own command. It doesn't mean that every one of those components is a separate Mizvah, right? Creating the Aron is not an individual Mizvah. So now, however, there is a separate command seemingly regarding the Mizvah. And this is after the right after the Aser Deberot in Parashat Yitro, Mizbah Adam Ta'asili, Zabah Ta'ala. So make me an earthen altar. She Hashib Bazet, she Bisva Misma Bifne Asma, host Mizva Mirdash. And it seems that that is, is an independent Mizva besides the Mizva the Beta Mirdash. Well, how is that? Isn't the Mizbeah just a component of the Beta Mikdash? I'm going to tell you, explain to you. But what's the basic surface level reading of the Pasuk? So the pshat, um, although it's not the uh, actual mizbah, but the pshat and the flow of the pesukim is what the pasuk is talking about, is time called heter habamot. What does that mean? What is heter habamot? You see all over uh, the book of Malachim, Aleph and Bet, this pasuk, well, he was righteous. Oh, but he didn't get rid of the bamot. What's the bamot? Bamot are private mizbahot, the private altars. They're called stages, right? And it's a rudimentary a little platform that someone would have in his backyard. Now, you're not supposed to have your own private mizbah, but there were times um, in intervals between the mishkan, the actual first mishkan shiloh, and the actual Beit HaMikdash, where bamot, private mizbahot, were allowed. And when those were allowed, the pshat, the, simple, the basic meaning of that pasuk, mizbah adama ta'aseli, was referring to when it's permissible, um, then you can have this earthen altar anywhere you want and offer korbanot to me. amru zehu So now, um, that's the pshat. That refers to an historical fact. However, that's not the real mizvah that that pasuk is referring to, mizvah adama ta'asili. Rather, ki anyan zehu shisiva levnot mizbeah shiye mechubar ba'aris v'shelo ne'atek m'taltel kimo shaya ba'midbar. Rather, that there's a mizvah to build an altar that's permanently affixed to the ground. Adama, not like the one in the desert, which of course we moved around a lot. Vihu omram b'mechilta d'rabi Ishmael. The midrash refers to this beferush ze hapasuk shetikanes la'aris ase li mizbah mizbeach mechubar ba'adama. When you enter the land, make me an affixed mizbeach. V'kasher hayah davar ken. Now, once that command was made, it did not take a life in and of itself. In other words, the command was made because we had in the desert a floating altar. It was a moving and traveling altar like everything else was traveling, portable. So there had to be a command that at a certain time is going to be an affixed, never to be moved altar. Now, what happened is 
that that command was an independent command. But once we got to Eretz Yisrael, and it, the, the command of building the Beit HaMikdash kicked in, this became included in that command. That's what's going on here. You're going to have to make a earthen affixed to the ground as Be'ah, but it's part of one of the components of the Beit HaMikdash. So in the Midrash Mechotar also addresses that it says, the Pasuk tells us, in a different Pasuk, if you construct for me an earthen altar. So there in the Midrash Mechotar, it says every word im is if in English in the Torah, and that implies optional. Besides three of them. One of the three exceptions is this one. Is a, not, doesn't mean to say if, it's not an option, it's a obligation. You must make me do you think that because of the word im, it means an optional, an option, or is it an obligation? And we bring another pasu, the Midrash did, to prove to you that it's an actual obligation. And the Mizvah, in the general Mizvah, Kilomad, Binyan Bet HaMikdash, have been already um, explained, Vitaru, Binyan HaMizbeah, there's a Masechet, which is not a Masechet Gemara, it's in Seder Kadashim, it's only a Masechet Mishnah, it's called Masechet Midot, and there it discusses both the entire Beit HaMikdash, the Mizbeah, and all of the other vessels. Also two other Masechet talk, Discuss a lot about the vessels of the Bet HaMikdash. Let's read one more Mizvah. Mizvah Kaf Aleph. Hu shesivanu lira min HaMikdash hazeh me'od. Ad shenasim benavshinu masa pahad vahayirah. Vizeh miyirat HaMikdash. We have a Mizvah. It's an intangible Mizvah. But it's the opening Mizvah once you build the Bet HaMikdash. And that is to fear this temple. To the extent that we feel uh, an awe of fear from just the presence of this temple. What's the source? Fear my sanctuary. And the parameters are like the Midrash says, give me an example of fear. For instance, you can't present yourself in certain nonchalant ways, even now this is the Beit HaMikdash, even the, the Harabai Temple Mount itself, with your walking stick, with your shoes, with your money bag, with dirt on your feet, can't use it as a shortcut. They learned that through um, the Kava Homer tool. You know how far this Mizvah fear goes? The only people that could actually sit in the confines of the Bet HaMikdash surrounding area are kings, and that's it. No one else can sit. Even Kohanim can't sit down on your feet all day long, like a retailer. Those instructions all fit into this command of fear my temple. And this is a permanent misvive in our days. That in our sins, unfortunately, our sanctuary, I bet the Megas has been destroyed. We still can't sit in that area. Uh, the Megdash rhetorically challenged this. Maybe this Mizvah is only when the sanctuary stands. But when the Beit HaMikdash is destroyed, the Mizvah dissipates. Uh, no, because the Pasuk says, fear my temple and keep my Shabbat in the same Pasuk. What did we learn from that? 
Just like keeping of the Shabbat is not um, at all correlated with a time or place, it's permanent all times and all places. So too, the Bet HaMikdash fear mizvah, is not at all attached to time. Visham ne'emad gamken lo ben hamikdash tayare ela mimish shachen shachen atov makom hazeh. And there, in the same midrash, it says you're not really fearing the temple. What are you fearing? You're fearing one who dwelleth in the temple. That's a kadosh baruch hu. So his shachinat, to some extent, continues in the area of the bet hamikdash. Shi'ibanei b'manav be'amenu amen. Baruch atzman le'olam amen ve'amen.